everyone, this is Jeremiah Taiko and I'm going to report the first part of Lesson 9. Phases of Curriculum Evaluation First, we have the aspects of the curriculum to be evaluated. Evaluator determines what is to be evaluated, which may be the total school system, a particular district, a particular grade level, or a particular subject. The objectives of the evaluation activity are clearly stated. Second, data collection. Identify information to be collected and the tools for collecting the data, which may involve interviews, giving of questionnaires, tests, collection of documents, and so forth. The evaluator also identifies the people from whom data is to be collected. Third, analysis of information. The data collected is analyzed and presented in the form of tables and graphs. Statistical tools are often used to compare significant differences and to establish correlation or relationship between variables. Fourth, reporting of information. Reports are written describing the findings and interpretation of the data. Based on the findings, conclusions are made on the effectiveness of curriculum implementation efforts. Recommendations are made to reconsider certain aspects of the curriculum. The Instrumentation for Curriculum Evaluation no matter what evaluation model is used in evaluating a curriculum, the methods of data collection and the instruments used are more or less similar. The common instruments used in curriculum evaluations are interviews, observations, tests, survey, content analysis, and portfolios of record of work or products. Questionnaires and checklists you need to quickly or easily get lots of information from people in a non-threatening way, questionnaires and checklists are useful data collection techniques. Questionnaires and checklists can complete anonymously and relatively inexpensive to administer. Since data collected is quantitative, it is easy to compare and analyze and can be administered to many people. Massive amount of data can be obtained. It is also easy to design as there are many sample questionnaires already in existence. However, the information obtained may not be accurate as it relies how truthfully subjects respond to the questions. There is also the fear that the wordings used can bias client's responses. Questionnaires are impersonal and since only a sample of subjects are given the instrument, we cannot get the full story. Interviews Interviews are usually one-on-one -on -one situation in which an individual asks questions to which a second individual, which may be a teacher, principal, student or parent, responds. The person taking the question is called the interviewer, while the person giving answers to the questions is called the interviewee. Interviews are used when you want to fully understand someone's impressions or experiences or learn more about their answers to questionnaires. There are two general types of interviews, the, ins the unstructured interview and the structured interview. In a structured interview, the interviewer does not follow a rigid script and there is a great deal of flexibility in the responses. In a structured interview, the questions asked usually require very specific responses.
In an unstructured interview, the interviewer does not follow a rigid script and there is a great deal of flexibility in the responses. For example, why do you think the recommended textbook for the course is difficult for low ability learners? The teacher responding to such question will give a variety of reasons. Some of the reasons given may be of a general nature, while others may be specific to certain sections of the textbook. This makes the task of keeping track of response more difficult. The open-endedness of the question will require that the interviewer to record all responses and make sense of it later. The advantage of a structured interview is that it allows the evaluator to gather a variety of information, especially in the relation of the interviewee's knowledge, beliefs, or feelings toward a particular situation. In a structured interview, the questions asked usually require very specific responses. For example, is the recommended textbook difficult for low ability learner because there is too much content? The language used is beyond the comprehension of low ability learners, or there are too few examples and illustrations. Regardless of which type of interview is used, evaluators should ensure that each question is relevant for its intended purpose. In the end, the data must be translated into a form that can be analyzed, and this has to be done carefully to preserve accuracy and to maintain the sense of the data. The advantage of interview is that it can get a full range and depth of information and it develops a relationship with teachers and students and it is more flexible. However, interview can take much time. It can be hard to analyze and compare, it can be costly, and the interviewer can bias the client's responses. And now let us welcome Ms. Taneo. She will be the one to continue the report. Hi beautiful people, I am your teacher for today. So before that, let me introduce myself first. So I am Flora Del A. Taneo from Cebu Technological University Main Campus, taking up the Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education, majoring in Industrial Art. Okay, let's continue the instrumentation for curriculum evaluation. So next is the observation. Observation is to gather accurate information about how a program actually operates operates, particularly about processes. In other words, to view operations of a program as they are actually occurring. Here is the example of observation. Lastly, the document. When we want impression of how a program operates without interrupting the program, we can review the memos, minutes, and etc. to get a comprehensive and historical information about the implementation of the program. However, we should be quite clear about what looking for as there may be a load of documents. To elaborate more, here are the method, overall purpose together with the advantages and challenges. So first is the questionnaires, surveys, and checklists. Overall purpose is we need to quickly and or easily get loss of information from people in a non-treating way. The advantages is can complete anonymously, expensive to administer, easily to compare and analyze, administer to many people, can get loss of data, and lastly, many sample questionnaires already exist. While the challenges are might not get careful feedback, wording can bias clients' responses, are impersonal, and in surveys may need sampling expert and doesn't get full story. The second one is the interviews. Overall purpose is when we when you want to fully understand someone's impression or experiences, learn more about their answers to questionnaires. While the advantages is are get full range and depth of information, develop relationship with client and can be flexible with client. The challenges are can take much time, can be hard to analyze and compare, can be costly, and interviewer can bias clients' responses. The next in line is documentation review. 
overall purpose we when we want impression of how program operates without interrupting the program it's from review of application finances memos minutes and etc while the advantages is get comprehensive and historical information doesn't interrupt program or clients routine in program information already exists and few biases about information while the challenges is are the often take much time info may be incomplete need to be quite clear about what looking for not flexible means of get data data restricted or what already exists the fourth one is the observation overall purpose to gather accurate information about how a program actually operates particularly about processes the advantages are view operation of a program as they are actually occurring and adopt to event as a core while the challenges are can be difficult to interpret seen behaviors can be complex to categorize observation can influence behaviors of program participants and can be expensive fifth one is focus group overall purpose explore a topic in depth through group discussion example about reaction to an experience or suggestion understanding common complaints etc useful in evaluation and marketing well the advantages are quickly and reliably get common impressions can be efficient way to get much range and depth of information in a short time and can convey key information about programs while the challenges are it can be hard to analyze responses need good facilitator for safety and closure and difficult to schedule six to eight people together lastly the case studies the overall purpose to fully understand or debate clients experiences in a program and conduct comprehensive examination through cross comparison of cases and the advantages are fully depicts clients experiences in program input process and result and powerful me to portray program to outsiders and the challenges are usually quite time consuming to collect organize and describe and represent tip of information rather than the breath that's the end of our discussion we hope that you learn about our topics and thank you for watching and god bless everyone